We're gonna play one last round of blackjack before we go. Good morning guys, it's day two. Um, technically it's, it's it's Sunday. Um, I survived my first, and first night in Vegas. Um, it was really fun, we had such a good time. We're actually out on the rooftop, or we're out on the parking garage right now, um, getting the car packed for the second part of our trip. Come on man, not focusing on me. Really nice, we stayed at Harrah's for first night, which we really, I mean, it was a great, great, like, middle place to be. We were, we could walk to Caesars, we could walk to the Bellagio, um, MGM and all that stuff was a little bit further, but it was a really fun time. We are headed to Bryce Canab in Zion today. Not all three, but that's where we're going. We saw the sphere. The sphere was lit up all night long. You can't see it from the parking deck, because, like, how the parking deck is angled, but... We also got a view of the, um, I don't know what this thing is called, but anyways. Hello, I'm back, I'm on the road. We just got to Arizona. Sorry, the air's blowing, it is cold. It is 99 degrees already and it's 10.30. Eastern time. Western time. Sorry, I keep forgetting where we are. Uh, like, west to east is uh, a difficult thing <laughs> so, for me sometimes. Um, we are on the way to Bryce Canyon National Park today. We're going to take a little pit stop at our Airbnb. We just left Walmart. We got a ton of stuff from Walmart, like essentials. We got water, got some like granola bars and snacks and stuff. Um, we just stopped at McDonald's because we are trying to get on the road. So, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm going to turn this camera around because I need you guys to see the views. I mean, there are mountains everywhere and I grew up in Georgia and you don't, like, this is not a thing. It's a bunch of pine trees on the side of the road. But it's funny because I talked to someone about this and they said the opposite. So, they're like, anytime they go out to the east like where i'm from the eastern coast east coast they're like it's so beautiful there there's trees everywhere there's so much greenery it's kind of crazy the grass ain't always greener especially here in arizona <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm turning the camera around so you can see the views that we're seeing
Living in Utah. Gotta stop at the Dutch Bros. Hello. Um, I haven't talked to you in a while. We ended up stopping at Dutch Bros and we ate our McDonald's. Oh, I talked to you last when I was getting when we got McDonald's. Um Good. Kept going. Um, we are in, we're on the way to our Airbnb, like I said, but I just wanted to get on here. I don't know if you can see behind me. You'll get all this footage, but we're like driving through the mountain, mount, through the mountains, kind of. It's so beautiful out here. Tyler was right. It is beautiful. You don't have to worry about the rain, because I was like, oh, well, what if it rains one of these days? And I stopped mid so I was like, it's not going to rain. It's not going to rain here, because it barely rains here. Um, that's very nice. It's just so hot right now that it makes it a little bit harder to like enjoy the outdoors. You know? Wait till I show you what's next to me. I mean, Jesus. Are you kidding me? Look at that. It's just beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you guys with a zoom so you can actually see the mountain range. But it's just incredible. It is kind of crazy though because then you got all this like super, uh, this cars are passing me and stuff. What's the speed limit? 65, 172. Look at all these cars passing me. You guys get to see that too because I haven't been able to turn my camera around yet. There's another one. I guess, I guess everyone's not scared of the cops here. We made it to the Airbnb. This is the one in Canab that we're staying at. And it's so stinking cute. So they've got like five or six of these. We're staying in this one. This is number one. Number one. It's so cute. They have this little like porch. Ah, the window to the inside. There's Tyler checking stuff out. Um, and then this is your view from like the front porch. Technically this is the front porch. Ugh. There's your view. So nice. Um, and then there's, like I said, there's like four or five over here. But it's like just enough far away from everybody. Let me give you the grand door tour. You get a sliding door. This is the living room. Got a little fireplace, TV, couch, kitchenette, and upstairs. I'll take you upstairs in a minute because I'm about to unpack. But it's so cute. And I love it. Really excited. Tyler did pick this one out, so I gotta give him props. Um, he didn't sell me on it at first, but it's really cute. And I'm excited to stay here tonight. It's like a partial full moon because there was a full moon yesterday night. Um, so hopefully we get to see the beautiful full moon. Also, it never rains here. I was just talking about how it never rains. Guys, there's literally like a storm going over the mountain right now. So, hopefully that does not affect um, our hiking today because we are going to hike. It's it's two o'clock, so we're still trying to get some hiking in later today. But, fingers crossed, the storm does not stop us.
to Bryce Canyon National Park. It's our little visitor center. So now we're about to get on these shuttles and go see some things in Bryce Canyon and then go get something to do for dinner. Cause it's uh, 4.30, so we have a late start, but we'll be okay. We made it to Bryce Point. Oh, perfect. That's where we want to go. Rice Point, 8,300 is the elevation for this. Just kind of good timing. There's nobody out here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So quiet. Mm -hmm. So this is part of the um, amphitheater. It's better here. Um, oh, wait. Oh, right wow. There. Yeah. Be best there's a view. There's a place to stand right over there, but this is this is Bryce Point. <laughs> we're hikers. We're professional hikers. You look like them are what professional people wear them boots right there. <laughs> I hear some hot echoes. I bet so. That's the town that we drove through to get here, dude. Do you see that? We drove Where? up that road down there to get yeah. here. Here's the hard yeah. <laughs> Wow. I don't know if you did it. Huh? You guys may not have done this. I don't know if we did. I can't the battery dying. I've got to drink it last night. I don't have a sticker. <laughs> you probably didn't then. Which kind of sucks because we're only going to be here for four hours. <laughs> oh gosh. Whew. This makes you feel, feel pretty small. Yeah, that's kind of wow. This is crazy. My camera's dying. I gotta go. See y'all later. <laughs> This place is just gorgeous. Look at these caves. It looks like if, um, like Atlantis. This might have been Atlantis. We'll never know. We'll never know, will we? Wish I had a camera to take pictures with. But I didn't charge it. So, phone will do. Hey, friends. We just came from over here, and I am out of breath. Nothing new. Okay, we're on the rim trail. Um, you kind of see more views this way. We're a little limited on time, but we're making the most of it. With the rim trail, it, it makes things exciting. What day am I gonna wear what color socks? Oh man, I feel like different putting a pair on. I got chipmunk. Oh, look at him. Go, yeah. little chipmunk, go. Be nervous. It's beautiful from just every angle. Okay, so upper inspirational point. Oh, inspiration, I can't read. Okay, we're about to head up to inspiration point. Ready for the big reveal. We forgot our sunglasses, so we can't see anything. B roll. And that looks like people. This is Thor's hammer. People were. Like it looks like people on that little rock. I would have named that something. Like Quakers or something. I don't know. Oh shoot. But we don't have to go down it all the way. 
Motivated. It's not though. Oh. Editing Lindsay here. Um, Tyler was absolutely right in this moment, and I instantly, rewatching this clip, regret not listening to Tyler. Um, I am very like, I'm right and you're wrong, and sometimes that gets me in trouble, and this time it got me in trouble because um, we should have gone down Wall Street and not up Wall Street. So in the future, when we go back, or if anyone watching this is going to Bryce Canyon, do not go up Wall Street, go down Wall Street. Like, go where we were just going. That way you can go down the switchbacks instead of up the switchbacks because going up switchbacks, I learned on this trip, is no fun. <laughs> so back to the rest of this hike. I almost didn't make it and you will see that in the next clip. probably have like 0.4 miles left of this hike. Beautiful hike. Oh my god. I'm out of breath. I mean, I was about having a stroke. Huh? I'm having a stroke. Hiking, like for real hiking, is so humbling. I'll tell you that right now. I thought I was good. I thought I got this. I was wrong. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, I gotta take a break, dude. Oh, he beat me through the hole. Okay, you wanna take that? No, I want you to take me. Oh. <laughs> so since I didn't get to show you guys me stamping my passport, I'm gonna show it to you. This is the passport to your national parks. You can pick it up at any visitor center where there's a national park. So, I started mine when we went to Acadia, or the, the main trip, that vlog. Um, that's when I started, when I got this. That's, yeah, that's right. Um, so what you do is, if I can freaking show it to you, I can't find it. Here we go. So like here's my Acadia National Park stamp. And then at the stores they have the passport um, like official sticker. That's literally what it's called, the official sticker for your passport. So you get that and then you put it on top of your stamp. Um, and it shows you all different types of parks and like monuments and like when we went to Outer Banks, they had a Wright Brothers Memorial. So we stamped it there and got the little thing. Yeah. So you take your little stamp or your, your post, your sticker, and you like this. And you put it on your little sticker section. And it's so cute. And it's a great way to see what you've done at the national parks. There you go, that's your passport to your national parks. Because of the sun. Oh, I'm about to get so mad. Look. Oh my god, look at the deer. Alright, I'm gonna give you the rest of the tour. So we're gonna go up the stairs. Alrighty. Oh wow. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna try to trip up the stairs. And then you come up to the bedroom. And it's so cute. You got the high ceilings, the AC unit. And then this is the can lighting for up here. Wow. That's awesome. Can dim lighting is the way to go. And then that's the light right here. But that's not all. Got a little nightstand here, windows. Also this, let's see, how do I get out of here? Okay, I have to turn the light on. We were in such a rush earlier, I didn't get a chance to come out here. But there's a little porch out here. And it's so nice. And guys, 
There is a full moon out tonight, which is awesome. So, yes, it is dark. It's nighttime now. I didn't get a chance to come up here. <laughs> when we got here, we had to like rush to get to the Grand Canyon or the Bryce National Park. <clears throat> but I wanted to finish the tour, and so that's what I did. So now we gotta go get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing Zion. Um, but so far the trip has been 10 out of 10. I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace out from day two of our trip out west. Um, we're gonna have a little late night drink and I'm gonna stare at the moon because I am a Tyler Brigney's giant. Binoculars. <laughs> so I'm gonna go look at the moon in the binoculars. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll fit. You can change. But I only have so many shorts to wear.